Hello, this is Will from Grow Anywhere, and today I'm going to show you a little experiment where I compare the growth of red leaf lettuce in two different home hydroponic systems. One of the two systems is the cracking method in a container on this shelving unit where plants are grown under white LED shop lights. And the other system is on the windowsill where plants are grown under complete sunlight with no electric lighting at all. We're going to compare and see whether light makes a big difference in the shape and yield of plants. Now let's take a look. This is the cracking method on the shelving unit under LED lights. These plants are looking really good and ready for harvest. I have grown these plants for 46 days, so they're overgrown a little bit. You can see some edge burns on their older leaves. But overall, the plants look really nice and tasty. I grew these plants as seedlings for 11 days and then continued to grow them in this cracky container for another 35 days. Now when I open the lid, you can see what's going on underneath. The roots look really good and healthy, they're white and clean, they're based partially in the nutrient solution down below. The way I make the nutrient solution is to add dry fertilizers into water and mix it very well. And you have to mix these two parts sequentially. So I use a mixture of a base fertilizer and Epsom salt, which is magnesium sulfate. I didn't adjust the pH or EC of the nutrient solution at any time, and it was fine for lettuce and many other leafy greens. This is the second hydroponic setup that I have on the windowsill. This whole system is passive, there's no electricity used at all, and all the light that the plants receive is from the sun. So depending on the day, whether it's sunny or cloudy outside, the plants receive different amounts of sunlight, which can impact growth dramatically. These are not fully matured heads of lettuce yet, so I'll probably want to grow them for another few weeks before I harvest them, although if I really want to, I can probably eat them already. The way I built this windowsill hydroponic setup was very simple. I found a garden planter for the windowsill, so it was the right size for the container. And then I found and cleaned some styrofoam food trays and cut one inch square holes with a knife. Then I inserted the raw cool cubes with the lettuce seedlings through the holes on the food trays. I filled the container with a nutrient solution and let the food trays float on top so the entire time the roots will grow out of the raw cool cubes into the nutrient solution. This whole setup is like a mini deep water culture system. If you haven't already, I highly recommend you try this at home because this whole setup is very space efficient, it doesn't use any energy, it's completely passive, and it's something nice to look at on the windowsill. At the end of the day, you can harvest what you grow and make a nice salad. Also, there is no maintenance at all. You don't have to add or replace the nutrient solution during the whole time. The plants are just growing on their own under sunlight. And you can do this all year round at your home because it's a great environment at a set temperature that's ideal for plant growth. Now let's take a closer look at the root system of these plants on the windowsill. Because the plants are small, relatively speaking, the roots are small as well. However, the roots are pretty nice looking, white and healthy. And we can see the nutrient solution down there is pretty clean as well, free of algae. As plants grow older and older and take up more and more water over time, naturally the water level in the container will go down, but that's okay. If you need to, you can replenish, but in my experience, I've never had to during the entire growing cycle of lettuce. And finally, the structure of the plants is pretty loose. It's not quite as tightly condensed as what we saw earlier under LED lights. And now when we pit these two systems against each other, we have a clear winner. And that is the system under LED lights. Relatively speaking, the plants in the windowsill container are much smaller and paler in color. And that's all because of the less light the plants receive. Light is the source of energy for plants to do photosynthesis, and that's how they produce carbohydrates and accumulate biomass. Here on the shelving unit, the plants are grown under white LED lights, which contain various wavelengths in the visible spectrum. 
there's plenty of light and the lights run on a timer for 16 hours a day. Whereas here on the windowsill, the plants are grown under sunlight, which can be inconsistent throughout the day and also during the season. The windowsill system is completely energy free and sustainable. Although plants grown in the system can grow very slowly if you don't have a lot of natural sunlight. Regardless, happy growing and I'll see you next time.